Okay, so hey guys, let's look at number 13, Roman to integer. This is a reverse version of number 12, which transforms into just Roman. So we're given uh, Roman uh, numeral character symbols, I, V, X, L, C, D. It means different values. So we're given these Roman numerals and need to uh, translate into uh, decimal uh, integers. The thing is that uh, the I think it's very pretty straightforward. Except the one rule is that if i is be before i, uh, before v or x, it means minus. I mean i v is four, i x is nine. So actually, we can we only need to decide the uh decide the num decide uh decide what decide the sign of i. And uh, an X, right? And the C. Yeah. We just need to see if that the next uh, symbol has the five times value or ten values of current symbol. So we just need to sum them up, right? So, okay. So the net sum equals zero and uh, four. This is the board boilerplate code. Okay, for each uh, characters, we, we don't know the sign, so net sign to be one. If okay, of course we need a, a map. Well, let's use object a literal. Uh, I one B five X. 10 L C C 100 D 500 uh, M button so we we'll need to judge if uh, next one if I is smaller than s dot nth minus 1 And uh, si plus one, yeah, the value, right? So the value of next one equals value of this one times five or maps s minus plus one equals map si times nine. Oh, no, ten. Right, okay. So uh, this is the case where sign should be wait a minute. So this is the case where sign should be minus. And then we sum them sum them up sign times this one. And then we we'll return the sign. Well, sh I think it should work. Yeah, it works. Cool. Mm, this is there is no much, not much to improve. So that's all for this one. See you next time.